Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your host, Favorite. I use she, they, fave pronouns, and I am so excited for today's video. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate you, and let's get into today's video. Happy Pride Month. Today is day two, week two of um, uploading videos for Pride related videos. Um, my last week's video, I will leave in the cards. It's my asexual video, and yeah. Before we begin, I do want to plug my social medias. I have a TikTok where I post fun videos, an Instagram where I post fun pics, a Twitter where I post fun retweets. I also have a Goodreads where I post fun book reviews, and a Pinterest where I post fun boards. All linked in the description box down below if you want to give me a follow. Thank you in advance. And let's begin today's video. Now, before I talk about my story on being a romantic, I do want to give you the definition in case you don't already know. So I'm pulling the definition from UNC LGBTQ Center's website and a romantic means individuals who do not experience romantic attraction towards individuals of any gender or genders and because I fall under that category I wanted to make a video talking about it um, so I want to talk about my story I discovered asexuality a romantic at the same time in 2019 but did not identify with being a romantic because the videos I was watching on people being a romantic, I did not relate to the not desiring a romantic relationship part of it. And so my brain kind of knocked out the definition and kind of replaced it with not desiring a romantic relationship instead of not, not experiencing romantic attraction. It wasn't until a year later when I was on Twitter and I saw a tweet that said um, you can be a romantic and desire a romantic relationship when it like kind of plugged it back in from the actual definition and I was like wait now I had to do some thinking because of that I had to do some thinking so I did a lot of um, self-reflection and all the crushes I had over the years were not actually crushes I was just aesthetically attracted to them and it's very, when you lack romantic attraction and sexual attraction, you kind of have to um, kind of go with aesthetic attraction, like the next obvious thing, I think for me anyway. Because um, like aesthetic attraction is like, if this person is aesthetically attractive, it must mean that I want to date them and sleep with them and all the other things. When that is not entirely accurate. It just, aesthetic attraction means you find them to be aesthetically attractive. That's it. Um, and so piecing that together kind of helped me to uh, learn that uh, and a lot of like I think we just like tweets on uh, like memes on like being aromantic like is aesthetic attraction does this mean I have romantic attraction it's like no kind of equating it aesthetic and romantic kind of mixing them up and I was like why is that so relatable I <laughs> Um, and that kind of um, learning the different types of attraction kind of helped me to learn which ones I experience and which ones I don't experience. And so I found when I found that out, I started identifying as a a romantic. So I first identified as being cupid romantic, um, meaning that I, while I lacked romantic attraction, I did desire a romantic relationship. I since then just used. A romantic as like my label. I do have some questions that I wrote down that I'm going to answer to help ex further explain what being a romantic means and clear up some misconceptions as well. Just a few of them. So first, what does alloromantic mean? Alloromantic means you experience romantic attraction. That's it. It is not an offensive term and because uh, I've seen on Twitter which is like, yeah, the minority, but um, talking about like how certain labels are offensive and they're really not. Um, alloromantic just means you experience romantic attraction. Allosexual means you experience sexual attraction. While you don't use that label, you either use straight, gay, lesbian, pan, bi. Those are the labels you use. It just means that you experience romantic attraction. Um, Aromantic people don't feel love? Question mark. A loveless aromantic. 
Since making this video, I've learned about loveless aromantics. What does it mean to be a loveless aromantic? Loveless aromantic or loveless arrow describes someone who is in the aromantic spectrum that is in some way disconnected from the concept of love, does not feel love, may doubt that they feel love, or rejects the idea of experiencing love. I wanted to correct myself so that I'm not invalidating other people and what they experience. I also wanted to talk about the different types of love other than romantic, but make sure I don't alienate a romantics whose experiences are different from mine. There are many different types of love. There's familial love, romantic love, sexual love, um, intellectual love, platonic love, and a whole bunch of other ones that you can experience just because you don't experience romantic attraction. While there are different types of love, that doesn't mean everyone will experience the different types of love. Love is a romantic may not experience love, but it doesn't necessarily mean they lack empathy or other emotions. There will be a link down below for more information on the subject. I wanted to correct myself because when I was looking for information about my experiences, I felt like I didn't relate because of what I was hearing from others. Because my own experiences didn't match theirs exactly, I didn't know there were more than one way to experience sexuality and aromanticism. Can aromantic people be in romantic relationships? Yes. You can want to be in a romantic relationship even though you lack romantic attraction. Are all aromantic people asexual? No. Um, people can be asexual and not aromantic, and people can be aromantic and not be asexual. Um, a lot of people, there is like a uh, link, uh, meaning like a lot of people do identify under both, but you do not have to be both in order to identify with one of them. What is Emma normativity? Atom normativity. I'm gonna pronounce it wrong. Sorry. Okay, so um, based on Elizabeth Brake's website, Emma normativity, I'm gonna say it wrong, I apologize, um, is a word I coined to describe the widespread assumption that everyone is better off in an exclusive, romantic, long-term coupled relationship and that everyone is seeking such a relationship. According to, I'm guessing the creator of the term. Um, so yeah, um, a lot of people don't want to be in romantic relationships and that's totally fine. And you're not better or worse because you want to be or don't want to be in a romantic relationship. Romantic relationship. Um, are aromantic people LGBTQIA plus? Yes. Um, some people who are aromantic may not identify as being a part of the community, and that's fine, um, but people within the community tend to want to kick asexual and aromantic people out of the community because our experiences aren't exactly like their experience, and that's not fair and it's not right in my opinion but you are within the community if you're aromantic, in my opinion. Last question for this video is, can you be aromantic and never been in a romantic relationship? The answer is yes, you can. Um, you don't have to have been in a relationship to identify as a romantic. You just have to lack romantic attraction. That is the only requirement to be a romantic identify as a romantic um but that is all for today's video if you stay to the end comment a green heart emoji if you have any questions that you want me to answer in another video relating to be aromantic comment it down below um don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like subscribe if you want to hit the bell notifications so you're notified when i post I have a whole bunch of videos coming out for you that I'm very excited about. Uh, my social medias are all linked in the description box down below if you want to give me a follow. Um, and until next time, drink some water, eat a snack, play with a toy, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!